Okay, welcome back to Good Morning Maryland. I have moved my location. I'm now on board the Maryland Book Bank's Bookmobile. I'm joined by Mark Firing, the founder and executive director. Mark, what are we doing here today? This is exciting. This is really exciting. We're celebrating National Reading Day. So it's to encourage children of all ages to pick up a book, sit down and read, and get to the point where they're proficient by the third grade. It's really important that these children have as many resources as they can. So that's why the Ravens donated this Bookmobile to us, and we're able to get out into the community and help children celebrate National Reading Day. As you're out there in the community and you're donating books and helping the kids, what, what kind of enthusiasm do you get from the kids when they get those books in their hand? The other day we literally had a bunch break out and cheer and start jumping up and down to the point where this thing was shaking like crazy. So they get very excited. They're shaking the bookmobile. They are. It's fun. That's terrific. And, and, and talk a little bit more about how important it is because I my daughter is actually in uh, the third grade right now. And so people talk about, you know, by after that you start to read to learn more exactly. so it's important that they learn to read leading up to third grade exactly the, the the biggest problem that we're seeing and we ask children when they come on the bookmobile is how many books do you have at home if you have any books at home we only see two or three hands raised so they need to have these tools at home in order to become proficient the middle income children have upwards of 50 books at home lower income children have between zero and two so they just don't have the tools that they need in order to become proficient by the third grade and then if they're not they have a 16 percent higher chance of dropping out of high school and they end up with you know the, the situation the prisons where I think it's like 60% of the people in prison are not proficient at reading. So it's, it's a long-term situation that has very, very serious and dire ramifications if we don't address it. Once they fall behind, it's very difficult to catch up, and they don't need to fall behind. Exactly. If we can provide the books, if the teachers and schools are working hard and they've the, the, got, got the families vested, then you know it should be a no-brainer that we are able to solve the problem. Yeah, and here through the Scripps Foundation, I know we had the donation a couple months ago that involved the number of books now there's been a lot of money raised to buy some more books uh, and the the issue is I guess that we just need to continue having that volume of books available for the kids exactly I mean if you look around on the bookmobile today a lot of these are brand new books that you folks bought for us so we're very appreciative of that the kids absolutely love having new books that they can bring home most of what we give them are gently used and they get just as excited but you know giving them something that they can have some pride in is, is really important and we're very appreciative to the script foundation mark firing from the Maryland book bank thanks so much for coming in we really appreciate all the work you do for the kids in the Thank community you. and you can help too we've got much more information about this and other donation efforts on our website abc2news.com so thanks very much for tuning in for this report and we'll have much more of good morning maryland when we come back